Hi guys, here I am at the very crowded and very busy launch of the GAC Ion Y Plus. It's actually a new brand for Singapore and there's a new car to check out. New brand, new car, let's check out the new car first. Here we have the GAC Ion Y Plus. It's a family car with five seats and it qualifies for the cheaper Category A COE. The brand has a new dealer here in Singapore with Vincar EV officially opening its showroom on April the 6th. Now, some people describe the Ion Y Plus as an SUV, but to me, it kind of looks a little bit more like an MPV. It's boxy and there's plenty of emphasis on space. And it happens to be fully electric. You can really tell it's an electric car, right? Look at how clean the front end is. Not much grill area here. And it has that smooth, modern look that so many electric cars do. But I want to show you five really eye-catching things about this car. Look at the headlight design. Don't they look like angel wings? They're perfect for that beautiful Instagram shot. And look at this cladding over here. The wheel arches are so distinctive. And when you see this, you know you're definitely looking at the Ion Y+. Plus. You also have these door handles and of course they fold back to be flush with the bodywork. And that's great for the aerodynamics, which is great for efficiency. And that's super important for any electric car. And then there's this triangular panel over here. Does it remind you of anything? Because it reminds me of the BMW i3, very famous electric car. And then there's this light bar here. Very modern, very contemporary, and unlike some other cars, it actually lights up all the way across. Size-wise, the Ion Y has a pretty large footprint. It's 4,535 millimeters long and 1870 millimeters wide. So for comparison, it's 8 cm longer than the BYD 803 and just half a cm narrower. The wheelbase is actually 3 cm longer than the 803s. And the whole car is actually slightly taller. It's exactly 1.65 meters tall, which means it's precisely tall enough to be an air steward for Singapore Airlines. Let's have a look inside now. And the first impression is that it's your typical modern EV. The dashboard and the center console have a T-shaped configuration, and it's all very clean and zen-like inside. The driver gets a 10.25 inch display, and the steering wheel has touch sensitive pads. They remind me of what you get on the latest Volkswagen. The main touchscreen is 14.6 inches. You do get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And apparently in the future, you'll be able to connect gaming controllers as well as microphones for a bit of KTV. Okay, this is a family car. So let's have a quick look at the back together. First thing I notice is panoramic roof. So lots of light in the cabin, very nice. It's a lot of space as well. The floor is flat. And I'm sure if you notice, I've got a lot of headroom above me. Uh, I see aircon vents here, which is a must-have in Singapore, along with a USB charging port. So all the basics are there, but have you noticed this? That front seat falls down all the way, so I tell you what, there's room to get comfortable and if you don't actually have a family yet, there's room to start one. Okay, let's talk about the version on sale in Singapore right now. At launch, we have the Ion Y Plus, which has a 100 kilowatt motor that drives the front wheels. That's enough power to accelerate the Ion Y from 0 to 100 in 9.8 seconds. It has a 63.2 kilowatt hour battery pack that GAC actually manufactures in-house. And that's good for 430 kilometers. Finally, let's talk a little bit about GAC itself. The GAC stands for Guangzhou Automobile Company, and it's actually a state-owned enterprise. They've been partners with Toyota and Honda and other brands, but those are the two most fussy and most exacting Japanese car companies. GAC Ion is actually a standalone brand that focuses on new energy or electric vehicles. And the Ion Y Plus, well, it's the first car that we're seeing in Singapore from this new brand, but I think it's going to be the first of many. Hey, that's a really quick walk around of the Ion Y Plus right here in Singapore. I haven't told you about the price. It starts at $145,888 and that's with COE. But if you're shopping for an electric car, make sure to check out www.mrchia.com.sg. If there's a car you're interested in, we'll help you find a friendly and super helpful salesman or a product expert who can answer any query or even arrange a test drive. Thanks for watching. See you again.